Hey you guys and welcome to Strengthening Math in the ECE Classroom. I'm so excited that you have registered and decided to join me on this adventure together into math. Um, if you're anything like me, you may not like math. I intentionally went into the field of early childhood because I didn't want to have to take statistics or calculus in college. So I successfully made it all the way through my degrees without having to take either of those classes and thought, okay, that was a success. I'm not sure if I could pass them. So I'm on the road to success here. Um, and so I have worked in the early childhood field for more than 20 years. Um, and I've taught in all types of programs from private to Head Start for seven years um, to being a nanny in a home, um, state funded, a lot of different things, including two-year-olds. Um, all the way up to five or pre-kindergarten age. So I kind of accidentally got really excited about math a few years ago. I was invited um, through work to um, a math workshop on a weekend. And I thought, well, I can go. I'm sure there's something I can learn, right? Math is not my strong suit. So I went to that two-day workshop um, that was hosted by the Dream TE team, which you're going to hear a lot about in this class. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with math suddenly and just got so passionate about it and had a whole new perspective on it. So I'm really excited to share that with you through this class and to help you feel more confident um, and more strong in your own personal abilities with math. Um, I, I think I've done my students to some extent a disservice over the years by not being more intentional um, about incorporating math. And really, in preschool, we lay the foundation for all of their future math learning, probably even more so than most of us realize. So I'm very excited to have you with me. I hope that you get as excited about math as I have in the last couple of years, um, regardless of whether or not you like it or it's your favorite subject. Um, and I just wanted to go over a couple of things before the class starts. So this is going to be our textbook for the class, um, Young Children's Mathematics. And the workshop that I attended and was led um, into, which has now become a couple year process, um, was actually hosted by two of these individuals who authored this book. So I can vouch for the fact that they're great ladies um, and have done some really excellent work and research around math. Um, but what I wanted to point out is throughout the course, you're going to see assignments related to a couple of different things. Um, I've given page numbers everywhere that I can that's applicable, um, so that should help you. One of the things is questions for further reflection. So you'll see these at the end of every chapter. Um, and when you have a forum that's related to reflection questions, or it says refer to question 6.2 or 1.4, um, those are coming right from the textbook. So make sure you have this handy and are able to grab it when you need it for some of those assignments. The other thing, which is one of my favorite things about this book, is throughout the whole book, there are also a lot of QR codes. So if you're not familiar with the QR code, although I feel like most everyone is by now, um, if you happen to not be, there is another video just below this one that describes how to use QR codes. So feel free to watch that if you need help um, in figuring that out. But also, if you don't have a smartphone below each QR code, there's also a little link. You could type the link in directly to your browser and it would work that way just the same. So if I say watch clip 6.2 in this case, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the QR code in that chapter um, in order to, to view that clip. Um, so keep that in mind. We'll be engaging with that quite a bit throughout the semester. The other thing um, that I wanted to point out is um, that this book, NAEYC Where's the Math, um, is optional reading. So you are not required to purchase this for the course. Um, I highly recommend this book. So if you haven't heard of it or you're looking for something to add to your library or something that can really support you as a teacher, this book is excellent. Um, it really just lists a whole ton of different math activities that you can do in the preschool classroom. It's almost like a book full of lesson plans. It tells you the resources that you need, the materials you'd wanna have available, what to say. If there's a children's book that goes along with it that you can read, it gives you that. So this is a very, very awesome book and it would be really helpful for you as a teacher. Lots of real life examples in it from other children. So um, grab it if you can, it's relatively inexpensive. Um, but if not, and you see this or hear this referred to throughout the course, just know that that's optional reading. So if there's ever anything that um, is is that has mention of this, there will be an optional assignment you could do instead if you don't have that book. So I'm here for you guys and more than happy and willing and excited to support you however you need. Um, obviously, you work independently in this course, and so you're not going to see me regularly or be hearing lectures. But if there's ever a time where you feel like you want more information or need to kind of dissect something further or get help understanding something, whatever it may be, 
um, feel free to reach out and let me know. I'm available by email, by phone, by Zoom, um, and during office hours if scheduled. So um, please just know that I'm here to support you and help you be successful. And I hope you enjoy the class and have fun getting excited about math. Thanks, take care.